K-I-L-R Taylor Games Gamers, simmers, and pilots, I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome to the tour around the world, well, as much as we can possibly do, on Microsoft Flight Simulator 3. What do I mean by that? Well, there's not world coverage, there's not even full USA coverage. Don't be tricked. Don't be misguided. Yes, there are scenery discs 1 through 12. However, 8 and 10 were never made. And, uh, well, 12 was actually made uh, for uh, the PC version of Flight Simulator. But that's about as far as that went. <laughs> well, okay, Western Europe, Japan. Uh, actually, there's something about Great Britain, too. Um, I don't know if that works with Flight Simulator 3. Um, it is for Flight Simulator 4, though. Uh, I think... I think Hawaii? I think the Hawaiian Odyssey actually works with uh, Flight Simulator 3 as well. Um, that is pretty much the extent. Um, so, you know, it's kind of a sort of kind of world tour. We'll see things around the world, uh, just not as much as we would like. But, anywho, uh, let's go ahead and talk about our flight. So here's the lovely map of the Chicago area. And, you know, I should have cracked open the, uh, the map from my flight simulator thing. It looks a lot better. <laughs> this is just a scanned copy uh, that I found on the internet. But anyway, uh, this is Jolia Park, and that's where we're at. And we're going to be going here to Greater Kankakee. Why? Well, because it's that uh, famous place on the default uh, Chicago map, which is in between Chicago and Champaign, University of Illinois Williard. So, used to be uh, one of my many, many flights that I would do from Chicago to University of Willard. Sometimes I would go the whole way. And sometimes I would stop you know, and barely have enough fuel to get there. And sometimes I would go here to Greater Kankakee and reload with fuel. So, yeah. Fun, fun times. And that's why we are going to Greater Kankakee. And the most interesting uh, thing that I've been coming across is that this uh, VOR, which has a T next to it, uh, doesn't seem to work. 111.6. Can never tune into it. Heck, I don't even know if this Greater Kankakee Control Tower 123.0 <laughs> works. I forgot to try it on Flight Simulator 2. Uh, we can give it a try on this one and see if it does anything. I thought I might have tried it one time and it didn't work. I don't know. I don't remember, but we're going to find out. And, well, what are we going to do uh, as far as getting there? I don't know. I think maybe if we tune in to Peotone, what do you think? Tune in to Peotone, fly directly here, and, hmm, fly south or something? I don't know. If we fly in this direction... I don't even know if I want to fly in that direction. <laughs> That's not what we've been doing on the other ones. Uh, let's use Joliet. And 150... Blah, that doesn't really take us in the right direction. But 140 will. If we take Joliet at the 140, that should get us in the... Uh, pretty good setup here for Greater Kankakee. And then we can eyeball it. 
and get ourselves landed. What do you think? I think that sounds like a plan, if you ask me. And I'm the pilot! So what we're that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get everything set up here. Joliet is all set to go. But I'm going to change this anyway. So I got 112.3. Oh, hey, look. This is like right where we want it to be. Perfect. Now, for laughs and giggles, 111.60. And it don't work. <laughs> no surprise. Uh, but we'll tune in to 113.2. That's Peotone. That'll give us some rough mileage. I don't think it's going to take very long to get the Kankakee. Uh, and the comm radio, 123.0. I don't even know if this is going to work. We'll find out. It does! Greater Kankakee Airport information. Mike, Zulu, weather, visibility 10, blah, 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 blah. Altimeter, landing, departing, runway 4. Why is everything 4? So they would want us to... Go south, actually. Well, well, I suppose we could go that direction. That works. That's fine. What direction are we facing? 118? Man, the gyro compass is far off. We'll just fix that right there. All right, well, let's get ourselves started. We're going to turn around and uh, go to the end of the runway and turn around and again and head off in this direction. We are off. Get ourselves turned here. All that yellow was uh, Chicago, by the way. I have advanced our time an hour. So it is 21.57. Almost 2200 hours. 10 p.m. for those of you who are not familiar with the 24-hour clock. We'll be getting some decent night flight. Don't you worry. Now, back in the day, I used to get as much night flight as I did day flight. But since we're wanting to look at scenery and all kinds of fun stuff, can't really do that very well at night. So we're not going to do that too much. Kind of a shame, but we're not even going to see the Kankakee River. I'll have to make a separate video, a separate classic video of Meg's to um, Champagne. Get ourselves turned here. of chocolate milk, more specifically Ovaltine, and 2200. It's time to take off. Take off, eh? This is where the Amiga shines a little better because we don't, our, our center line is not this thin spaghetti line. 
it's actually, you know, it's got some width to it. Good. Landing gear up. Need to go ahead and turn. We're at 2,000 feet. I'm going to go ahead and start our leveling off here. Take a look behind us, and there's Joliet Park. And a whole bunch of dots in front of us. Looks like we're kind of doing good here. We're kind of leveled off there a little bit. Though I think we're moving a little fast. <laughs> No, the seconds are right. If the simulator were going too fast, the time would be going fast. But everything seems to be running okay. DOS box is what I'm running this in. And it's running at 48,000 cycles. Which, again, might be uh, too fast, but the seconds aren't going out of control, so I think it's, I think it's okay. I am waiting for our Joliet uh, needle to start moving here. It should be soon. There it goes. Just inched. There we go. There we go. Still turning here. There we go. So, like the attitude indicator was 
showing like a flat horizon, but the turn indicator was still showing turn. Okie dokie. What are we going to do here? Do I have anything here that I can utilize? Let's see. Look for something I can use as a bookmark. How about I use the Tandy 1000 series keyboard layout? That might work. Go ahead and toss this behind there. So I have a box copy. It's kind of a rough box copy. <laughs> but I have a box copy of Flight Simulator 3 and we're gonna go uh, through the book because we got a lot of flying ahead of us so why not go through the book at the moment <laughs> we're gonna get on course is what we're gonna do Come on now. There. I think we're good. All right. We'll just ride this to Kankakee. Welcome. Welcome to Microsoft. <laughs> All rights reserved. Flight Simulator. Flight Simulator is a third generation real-time flight simulation program that pilots of all ages and levels of experience will enjoy. The simulation consists considers 47 important aircraft characteristics and includes an out-the-window three-dimensional dynamic flight display, extensive flight controls, and minimum visual flight rules. I'd say it's minimum. VFR and instrument flight rules, IFR, and not as minimum as uh, Flight Simulator 2. Instrumentation, as specified by the Federal Aviation Administration, or otherwise known as FAA. Flight Simulator features detailed graphics, mm -hmm. they're detailed, that closely simulate a pilot's actual perspective. Third generation high precision graphics drivers present solid model images with hidden surface illumination and surface shading, and much greater accuracy than any previous microcomputer flight simulator. Graphics detail and accuracy. Hello, I just read that. Graphics detail and quality are adjusted to make the best use of whatever display adapter and monitor you use, whether it's CGA, EGA, personal system, slash two, or others. And that's Kankakee right ahead of us. Flight Simulator's world is more than 10,000 by 10,000 miles square with a resolution of about 100th inch. The world encompasses the entire continental United States and extends into Canada, Mexico, and the Caribbean. Well, yeah, but there's no airports or navigates over there, but hey, you know. The populated world consists of five areas, includes 118 airports detailed in charts at the back of this manual, winds, clouds, time of day for dawn, day, dusk, and night flight, and navigation aids are also included. As a convenience to new ply it, new pilots. Pilots, flying lessons and varying degrees of difficulty are provided. Yeah, add some throttle here. If you have never flown before, you can use the basic lessons and easiest flight mode to learn the fundamentals of flight control. When you have mastered the basics of flight, or if you are ready, already a seasoned pilot, you can select more realistic and difficult modes to simulate sophisticated flight factors. In all modes, except entertainment modes, 
you can control environmental conditions such as wind time of day and turbulence you can also set a re reliability factor that determines the frequency with which flight problems arise you can begin or resume flight from a series of interesting pre-recorded flight situations and you can even set up test situations and record your flights for pay playback at a later time flight simulator simulates two types of aircraft a single engine high performance propeller driven aircraft of the Cessna 182 class and a business jet of the Gates Learjet 25G class. The Cessna 182 type single engine prop aircraft is an ideal plane for pilot training because it has climb performance and speed that keep a pilot busy, especially on landing approach. This aircraft simulation is designed for realism and presents the feeling of flying in a real life situation. The business jet simulation is designed more for fun than for realism. The aircraft is easy to fly and aerobatic and lets you see what it is like to fly at 450 knots at an altitude of 45,000 feet. Flight Simulator can provide hours of rewarding entertainment. In addition to prop and jet modes, Flight Simulator includes five games which let you test your flying skills. There we go. So, you know, in um, the other uh, flight simulator videos, um, I'll read through uh, some of the manuals. So, yeah, hey, why not do the same thing with Flight Simulator 3? Kankakee is right over there. We can see the blue of the taxiways. Won't be able to see the river, unfortunately. That river was always so iconic to me. Because when flying south, you'd see the river. It's like, ah, I'm halfway there. <laughs> I'm halfway to Champaign. Or going north, I'm halfway to Chicago. And I always flew the Chicago map, I think, more than any other. What about you all? I mean, what, what map did you fly the most? Did you fly Chicago? Or maybe you flew uh, Seattle? Or L.A.? Or maybe San Francisco? I can't remember. Oh, uh, which one it is? Might be San Francisco. Or New York. Maybe you did New York. map again and see if maybe just maybe Four point two zero, and set it for a radio of two hundred. And when this lines up, that's not what I want. I want two zero. <laughs> 
Not 200. We're not going from. But I believe we'll get an idea of when about to turn to line up with runway 4. Increase our throttle a bit and we're going to lower our landing gear and we're going to lower some flaps and get ready for our descent. Kankakee is right up ahead. <coughs> Kind of hard to uh, figure it out from a distance when all you see is, you know, a couple of lines or something. Let's trust, let's trust our instruments here. Trust that it's going to get us close to where we want to go. Ooh, I see some, some evidence of a city, the city of Kank. It's not Kankaki. It's Kankaki. I had to go through several videos, news clips, to try to actually get the pronunciation of it. <laughs> so unless they're saying it wrong, it's Kankaki. Sometimes I get a little impatient with these uh, OBS needles. It's like, come on, man, move. Come on, man, move. Why is this taking so long? Move. Move, 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 move. Almost seems like we are flying to Champagne. We got intersection of freeways up ahead of us, it seems. Those leveled out here a little bit. I might be too low. That might be why I can't see nothing.
We'll increase our throttle. Get a little bit more altitude. That might help. Wondering if this right there is runway four. I have a feeling this might be turning here soon. Or not turning, but moving. Tells me we need to turn now. It's like I can trust my instruments, but then there's the map, which is not exactly accurate. It tries. Aha, wait, I see it. Ah, see runway four now. Ah, there goes the needle. Let's slow ourselves down some more. Another degree of flaps. Start a turn here. And just a little bit. Start bringing our power down. Let's give it one more degree of flaps. Seem to be going down very fast. Okay. We got two gray lines there staring right at us. Which one is the runway? I'm going to guess it's this one over here. So you got one right here and one right there. There's only one runway, so one of them is a taxiway. I believe the one on the right is a taxiway. So let's, let's get this move over here. My goodness, we need to get start lowering our altitude. That's Kankakee right over there, that gray that we're seeing. There it is. And we can see fuel too. This has got the weird... 
I saw this over on Flight Simulator 2 as well. The taxiway's got this odd-looking shape <laughs> that's sitting there. I don't know what that, why that's there, but it had it had it also. Yes, okay, good. Yeah, I got the point. We were stalling. I thought we were going to crash. Cuz it was heading it was heading nose down there for a moment. All right, cool. And just in case you're wondering, we'll go to Sim here. You will see that I have crash detection on. So, I'm not trying to fool you. But that was a rough landing. <laughs> Taxiway here. I think we got one coming up. You know, the dots out there, it does give the illusion that it's, you know, a city. Of course, if you always have those dots on... Oh, it's like you got city lights everywhere. Uh, so maybe you need to go in there and turn them off once in a while, you know? Maybe turn on some of the rectangular uh, textures to simulate flying over farmland. Switch it over to dots when you get closer to a city. Oh, maybe they'll cover that inside the manual. We're going to head right over here. Top off our tanks. Kind of like we have stars or something on the ground.
because you are a star wherever you are. Got a bar of ivory soap sitting over there. In case you want to get on the soap box and talk to your heart's content. Kinda like what I'm doing. The orange fuel box. Get ourselves in here. All right, we're all filled up. This is where we're going to park. It's not supposed to be a parking spot, but I don't think anyone's going to mind because there's no one else out there. Of course that there is multiplayer. Um, I don't know how many players you can play. Multiplayer. If it's just with one other player or if you could... If you could get together, you know, and do the fly-ins and everything like they used to do on CompuServe. And I think maybe America Online used to do it. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, we're here at Greater Kankakee. Uh, thanks for joining me, and be sure to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that way you'll know when the next video gets uploaded. And it could be of any of the simulators, so I've got all kinds of stuff that go up on this channel. Um, and I'd love to have you join the Killer Army, the Killer Television Army. Uh, anyway, thanks a lot, and I will see you on the next leg of our journey.